Hey there, Eagles. You are flipping in fifth with me, Mrs. G. Today we're going to be talking about Topic 11, Lesson 2. Quite possibly the easiest math lesson you are going to learn all year. Today's learning target is I can multiply fractions by a whole number and, this is a bonus, annoy my parents with a very cheesy song. So here's our vocabulary. Of course, we still need to know that the number on top of a fraction is called a numerator. The number on the bottom is called a denominator. Write that down if you still don't know. Then I want you to write down the word of. Yes, I know. It has a different mathematical term than it does when we would use it in a sentence in English. Of is a word commonly used in math problems as a clue that you need to multiply. Example, if it says find one-third of six, well, that's the same thing as one-third times six. Go ahead and pause the video and write that down in your notes. Very, very important to know. Okay, here's today's problem of the day. Mrs. G is going to make her world-famous crazy creamy cocoa for her class. She needs three-fourths cup of steaming milk per serving. If she makes eight servings in all, how much steaming milk does she need? Hmm, well the first thing we're gonna do in a story problem is we are going to highlight the question that it's asking. How much steaming milk does she need? Then we're going to go through and we're gonna either underline or highlight the important information. Well here we know that I'm gonna need three-fourths cup of steaming milk per serving and I'm gonna make eight servings in all. Hmm, what could I do to solve this problem? Well, I could use repeated addition, right? Sure, let's try it. So here we go. We have three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths. Three my goodness, my hand's getting tired. Plus three-fourths plus three-fourths. Phew, now we have three-fourths added eight times. Okay, now we need to go through and add all this up. There's got to be an easier way. How about if we multiply? Okay, remember that annoying song I was telling you about? Let's go ahead and watch it now and we'll teach you how to multiply. See, 
I told you that that was kind of annoying, but it's kind of catchy too, right? So we have to multiply by the top, divide by the bottom. So here, back to our original problem, 8 times 3 fourths, multiply by the top, 8 times 3 equals 24, and then we're going to just bring over the denominator and divide by the bottom. Multiply by the top. Divide by the bottom, so 24 divided by 4 equals 6 cups. Yeah, it's that easy. Let's try another one. What is 1 fourth of 40? Go ahead and pause the video, write down your answer, and then come back and see if we've got the same one. Coming back in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Remember that word of is just telling us to multiply. So multiply by the top, divide by the bottom. So 1 times 40 is 40. Bring the 4 on over for your denominator. Multiply by the top, divide by the bottom. 40 divided by 4 is 10. Awesome, huh? Okay, so here is the easiest homework you're going to have all year. Here are five problems that I need you to find the product and simplify if necessary. Don't leave it in the form of an improper fraction. And remember this word of is just a fancy finger word for multiply. Go ahead and pause the video and come back for the answers when you're done. Coming back in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, one fifth of 40 is 10. Number two, two ninths of 90 is 20. Number three, one half of 50 is 25. Number four, three fourths of 12 is nine. And number five, six sevenths of 49 is 42. Hope you were able to get all of those correct. Remember, if not, don't worry about it. It's not for a grade, so we want you to be honest so we can help you better tomorrow. Honestly, fill out a self-reflection. Could you teach a friend or are you still confused? If you're still confused, don't worry about it because it is very easy to be confused by fractions. We'll fill in all of the blanks tomorrow. And then of course, if you have any more questions, go ahead and write those down underneath. I hope you annoyed, <laughs> annoyed, I hope you enjoyed my annoying song to help you remember how to multiply a whole number by a fraction. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.